Hi Virgo, welcome to your October no contact love tower reading. So Virgo, we're looking at the person on your mind um, that you're in no, or you're thinking of that you're in no communication or um, contact with and you want to know what is going on. So we'll be looking at the situation and what caused it potentially. How do they feel about that? How do they feel about you? What are they doing right now that you need to be aware of and will things change? All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on. I do have the Sacred Traveler Oracle Guard here deck. So we're going to get you some messages with this um, deck and then we're going to jump to your reading. So welcome in, Virgo. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right, Virgo, we're going to lay these out, see what's going on, and then we'll jump to your reading. Great adventure. Take a risk, venture forward. Miracles, expect the wondrous to emerge. Far away places, get ready for new horizons. And narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. I'm kind of feeling like here, Virgo, you may be dealing with someone who loves adventure. They love to travel, they love to do all these things, and maybe they are constantly at a distance from you. Um, and I kind of feel like like you felt the path of your relationship or future, your relationship getting narrower and narrower and narrower because this is very similar to, um, okay, whose reading did I do? Uh, there's some there's someone uh, someone's reading that I did that was very very similar. I think it was Aries. I think it was Aries. So if you are dealing with an Aries, uh, you may want to check that out. But I feel like this person, you feel like it would be a miracle. You feel like the pathway is so narrow right now because this person is just maybe always at a distance. They're always after the next adventure, or you know whatever the case may be that keeps them at a distance. Maybe it's just traveling whatever and you're like you know it would just be a miracle if this pathway would open up and I would be more prominent in their life or they would make me more of a priority or just the relationship in general so that's kind of what I feel here so what caused a no contact I feel like you probably uh you know stood your ground with this person obviously and or maybe they're just at a, doing something right now where they're at a distance from you maybe they just haven't communicated to you in a while and you're like you know what maybe something happened before you know this and maybe there's a little fight or argument or whatever and they went after their next thing and now there's distance and there's no communication and you're like okay what's gonna happen so let's see let's see what is going on okay all right Virgo so we have the spellcasters tarot here so do your reading with this deck and at the end, I will pull some Archangel Oracle cards to close it out. All right, Virgo, October, no contact, love, tarot reading. So let's take a little bit of a looky here at what caused the situation. Let's see. Four of Cups reversed. Let's try. Hmm. Okay. High Priestess. Yep, there's no contact or communication right there. Hierophant. World reversed. Mm. Eight of Wands. So that could be the travel action movement. Um, I feel like of this person, like putting, putting themselves at a distance. So I definitely feel a stuck energy here with the world reversed. Also, that could be a return. It's almost like when you return from your adventure, you better know what you want. So that's because <laughs> the four of cups in reverse is like someone absolutely knowing what they want and strength, you know, is a strong connection cannot be denied. Maybe soul contracts, past lives, being strong, courageous and brave. I also feel like Virgo, that maybe some of you just kind of didn't know what to do about the situation, like to stand up or to speak your mind or whatever, the, or set the record straight to do what you had to do about this and I finally feel like some of you finally gotten up that strength to do that to know exactly what the four of cups reversed 
and the high priestess some of you definitely could have been keeping this to yourself like well i don't, I don't know i'll just kind of play it out and see but the hierophant definitely is about more commitment dedication loyalty you know morals traditions values can be commitment marriage you know growth expansion leadership this person could also own their own business or even a huge corporation or business practice or something like that a leader but i do feel like virgo i feel like you said when you get back from whatever this is adventure maybe traveling or their career took them you know away at a distance and maybe they just work too much and you're like you know what yeah this isn't going to work for me so you know when you get back from whatever this is you better know what you want and maybe there's been no contact obviously since then right so we got it right there with the high priestess so let's see we have leo pisces taurus leo Chris, taurus scorpio all right okay so let's see virgo how are they feeling how are they feeling you know the world reverse can be somebody at a distance or traveling uh, but also could be the return but there's also that stuck energy that we're speaking of about uh you know the situation but let's see how they're feeling now about the whole situation well two of pentacles okay let's see how are they feeling how many do we have here one two three four okay and then one from the bottom all right let's see we have the four of swords oh, a lot of thinking about this page of cups Ten of Cups reversed. The star. Mm, that's pretty good energy. Someone made a stupid comment on my one of my readings. Make sure your cards are straight last time. Really? Next time. I'm like, really? That's what you gotta say? <laughs> okay. Alright, anyway, Ace of Swords. Let me get my ruler, make sure all the cards are straight. Anyway, what I see here, um, Virgo, I mean, Ace of Swords definitely could be a wake-up call. So maybe this is the wake-up call that they needed. You know, um, Epiphany, Awakening, wake-up call, Star is massive healing. You know, Faith, Hope, Optimism, which dreams coming true, Divinely Guided Energy, Balance. I definitely feel like they've had a wake-up call that they need to balance out their life more, their situation. They do realize you're not happy, Ten of Cups reversed. Um, that if this was a long-term relationship with the way things were standing before this, no contact communication, that you would not be happy with the long-term um, relationship in that energy. It's like, no. And I think they know you were sincere. Page of Cups, they knew you came forward. You were sincere. You meant what you said. It came from a place of love um, that you said it. And they're thinking heavily about this with the Four of Swords. And the two of pentacles so they're weighing all the pros and cons um kind of up in the air energy too so they're definitely weighing all this out everything that you said to them i do like the ace of swords and the star because it's like yeah i need to bring more balance that's you kind of woke them up ace of swords big time they know you're not happy you met what you said and you said it out of love you do have love for them you maybe even told them that um, so they're heavily, thinking heavily about this and throwing it all up in the air and trying to, okay, what, what do I do? What do I do? At first I could have felt a little like wishy-washy up in the air, like, oh my God, I don't know, unbalanced. But then they thought about it and said, you know, this came from a really good, sincere place. This person cares about me and our relationship moving forward and they're not happy. So I need to balance out my life and bring healing and see the truth of the matter so which is kind of good right all right so we have pisces aquarius showing up all right so let's see how they're feeling about you virgo let's see how they're feeling about you let's see how they're feeling about you let's see how they're feeling about virgo through this whole situation as well what do we need to know empress oh my goodness they see you as an empress yeah, there's the balance that we were speaking of with the Six of Pentacles, needing to be more balanced. Knight of Swords, take action quickly. Three of Swords, reverse. Yeah, they want to undo any...
disappointment, heartache, pain in this Eight of Pentacles. They want to shelter it. They want to protect it. They want to put in the work. Three of Cups in reverse. So definitely I feel like there's still separation here. Um, you probably haven't re reunited yet, but they're definitely thinking about that. But they also know they can't come back together with you unless they make the changes that they know they need to make to bring more balance into their life and for the connection. But they definitely see you as an empress. Strong, courageous, brave, empowered. You know your value and worth and you stood up for that. Balance. I see this energy of wanting to charge in to undo all the disappointment here to protect, nourish, work on it, growth, expansion, put in the work. But they have to do all this uh, before they actually come back in to reunite with you or return back to you. So there definitely could be still a uh, distance here. Wow. I mean, we didn't get any cups here, but, well, we do have the three of cups, but let's see, we got Libra, Taurus, Aquarius. All right. Okay, so let's see. And I do feel like this Knight of Swords can be a little chaotic, you know, and that you kind of see like a traveler there too. If that makes sense. So maybe perhaps this person knows that they just have a lot of chaos in their life. You know, little out of control, too much going on, taking too much on, whether it's career or other things. All right. So let's see what they're doing right now, Virgo. What are they doing right now that you need to be aware of? What are they doing right now that you need to be aware of for Virgo, please? What do we need to know? Oh, the Fool. I like that. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Seven of Swords reversed, which that's good. You want that reversed. Nine of Swords reversed. And the Eight of Cups reverse. So the, there's the return. We got the return. No more fear, stress, worry, anxiety, or being stressed out. Maybe they're just stressed out in their life <clears throat> with all the things going on for them. And maybe they even felt defeated a lot of times with this. Um, well, we do have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So that's about no more running, no more. I don't think there's any lying, cheating, or stealing going on. But... Um, you know, I feel like this person was always on the go and always running from the truth, running from the, not running from the connection, but the truth of the connection, knowing that they needed to make changes. I think they just avoided that a lot of times as much as they could. But now they know, since you probably stood up to them and said it like it was that, you know, I can't avoid this anymore. Um, I got to alleviate some of the stress in my life. I want to return. Eight of Cups reversed. I want to be more free, happy, indulge in what makes me happy, which could be you and the energy with you, wish dream come true. Page of Pentacles. So there's a solid offer, revealing things carefully. Page of Pentacles. And there's the Fool, which is good. You know, fresh, clean slate, energetic reset, no baggage. So I do feel like they're getting rid of some baggage here. Just a little tiny bit there, but I mean, barely none. Um taking that leap of faith for a new beginning and holding the new beginning right here. More stable, grounded. This is like the coin of an investment that they now want to put into their relationship. And I do feel like they've clearing some energy out of their life, which is good. So, you know, if they're taking on too many, like if it's work, career, you know, projects or whatever, or even taking on too many clients, I just feel like this person is eliminating some things in their life, which is good, which I do like that. So we have Aquarius, Capricorn, All right? So Virgo, we're going to look at uh, how things are going to change. I mean, they could be coming in with even commitment or uh, engagement or something like that. And the fool could be right now. I mean, Fool is a zero time frame for me, which indicates nothing associated, no time frame associated with it. It could be like any time now or right now. All right. We are in Libra season right now. Um, we do have Libra Taurus right here with the uh, Empress. So we're going to see here now, um, Virgo, how will things change? But if it is resonating or you are enjoying this, 
please do like comment all the good things would be greatly greatly appreciated oh my god the lovers making the choice for love their heart the connection the future i definitely felt that three of pentacles growth and expansion hangman reverse which is pretty good the wheel which is good energy knight of wands oh my god ace of cups so virgo this looks really good so i see this person charging in here taking more control the knight of wands go get her kind of energy you know strong courageous brave fiery passionate goes after what they want and they make it happen <clears throat> there are a lot of cards here that revolve around movement or travel i mean we have the knight of wands we have the eight of wands um what else eight of cups but that is in reverse <clears throat> as well as the world in the knight of swords too so i definitely feel like you know they're making the choice the decision for love for the connection three of pentacles putting in the work dedication growth expansion hangman reverse pause the reflection knowing what they got to do and then taking action positive movement forward here so there, there will be positive movement forward growth expansion luck destiny fate prosperity taking action on that and then there's the love right here with the ace of cups so that is saying you know they're rushing in here for the ace of cups like yeah i'm gonna do everything i can i don't want to lose my virgo so let's see we have gemini pisces sag leo aquarius taurus scorpio sag let's see what's on the top of the deck six of wands success and victory this could be someone very very successful nine of wands i feel like this person just had struggling like to get through everyday life with all their success and responsibility or something like that justice in reverse so yeah this person very very unbalanced they may even work in law or law enforcement or something like that for once yeah they need to be more dedicated loyal not loyal but more dedicated um committed to relationships rather than it's almost like they're married to other things in their life other than the commitment or relationship to you three of wands so looking out to the future i did feel a lot about that about even you uh, virgo looking out to the future like if this is what it's going to be like that's not going to work for me so now they're looking out to the future too five of swords reverse yeah no more feeling defeated i feel like this person felt very defeated sabotaging the connection because there's a lot of love here queen of cups intuition love peace harmony joy love and light let's see what's on the bottom of the deck magician yeah manifesting a new beginning here oh there's the emperor which is a match to the empress so divine counterparts here chariot there's something definitely here about moving or traveling surrounding this for some positive movement forward though success victory balance there's a distance because this chariot usually you see it coming in on like traditional tarot but this one is moving out so i do feel like there's this energy of this person always moving out in a way and traveling and doing whatever as well but eight of swords reverse which is good unblocking the energy king of swords reversed i think this person you know they needed to be told the truth they weren't seeing things clearly yeah they're too much too much here ten of wands can't even see then here's the big wake up call change surprise shock revelations crumbling down good or bad i feel like it's a good thing and this could be right now for some look there's the king of cups two people definitely um where's that queen where's that queen was it on the top here is it over here where where is she where is she we just seen her right we just seen her where did she go oh my gosh yeah right here okay here we go king the queen of cups two people totally in love with each other and good news coming in communication coming in as well so two ones reverse this person choosing the path they should be choosing with you and then there's that connection with the two of cups coming together coming in all right so that's what it looks like Virgo. all right we got gemini virgo right there 
some of you could actually be Geminis and Virgos. You know, they could be a Gemini. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. All right, let's get you some Archangel cards and see what else you need to know. I think you gave them a wake-up call. You did. You did. You. You. It's a good thing you did this because I think they kind of knew subconsciously at least that that was the energy, but you had to bring it to the surface and be empowered to do that as well. All right. Okay. So let's get some... Uh, Archangel cards. Also, my website's below it with everything you need to know, as well as in the description box. Children, indigo and crystal children. There could be children involved, and maybe you've even talked about having children together, but you might have said, look, if it's going to be like this, you know, I, you know, especially if you talked about settling down, having a family, starting children, starting to have children, like, you know, the whole nine yards, and you're like, but this, the way it is now in the future, that's not going to work. Clear, crystal clear intentions exactly be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith oh my gosh that's what i said this whole reading what else spread your wings do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar see there's something about this person i mean they could even fly a lot and there could be a lot of worrying maybe this person is even like a pilot or something that sounds very specific but it could be something about this person maybe they just fly a lot um, and you're worried, you know, what if something happens, you know. Relationship harmony. Oh my goodness. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Oh my God. And I don't even know why I felt a conflict at the very, very, very beginning of the reading when I was reading through the oracle. If you skip that, it's always important to watch the whole reading. Don't ask me questions at the end because you didn't watch the whole reading because that just annoys me. But anyway, I'm not saying you all do that, but there are people that do that. They skip around and then they say all these things in the comments and I'm like, well, obviously you didn't watch the whole reading. So anyway, but yeah, I said there could have been a conflict or argument or something at the beginning of the reading when I laid out the Oracle cards and there it is. There's a relationship harmony. So that's why I said it. Okay. All right. So let's see. We have peace. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Oh my goodness. Peace and passion too. All right, uh, Virgo, that's what I have. So I do feel like, yeah, you, unfortunately, you you know, if, if you're thinking about it right now, like I need to stand my ground with this person because if the future looks like this, I, I don't think it's going to work. You need to stand up and voice your opinions or your thoughts or whatever to put things in pers perspective which is going to give them the wake-up call and then things are going to change that's what i see basically all right virgo that's what i have for you so i do hope that helped that resonate again everything you do need to know is down below i am wishing you the best and i shall see you next time